Dear friends, I greet you wherever you are. I want you to note that we have cardinal points why we, dear friends, have decided to be on our own without further interruption or disruption. Uh, there are people who, if you follow in life, you will be later, not even late. And you know, when you go for occasion and you went later, you know what it means. You cannot get anything. So what I'm trying to tell you this moment is that Biafrans have grown. Biafra is more than you think in your heart. For some of you who are very suspect, um, uh, uh, skeptic in mind, you are still doubting, very doubtful in mind. How can a Biafra come? With, do you know that this Biafra we are talking about have existed for three years before? And that's why we are talking of the restoration of it. You are not declaring Biafra again because Biafra had already been declared, it existed as a sovereign nation for three years. Why won't we summon courage this moment and a reason to take what belongs to us? Fear cannot help you. Fear cannot help any man. When fear grips you, when fear enters your heart, you cannot achieve anything. Fear, F-E-A-R, false evidence, appearing real. That's the meaning of fear. And I discovered that fear is on the mind of many Biafrans. Fear of what has happened before. For eight years, Boare was a terror to all the Nigerian citizens. Fear of Tinibu tyrannic regime. Fear of over 4 million people that died in 1967, 1970. Please, we have to uh, forget. It's not that we will forget because it's a broken heart. So, we, 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 we will remember, but does not mean that we don't have to move forward. We have to keep the past aside so that we can see road to move forward. All what I'm telling you is that Biafrans are the ones who make Nigeria lively. Look at the Biafrans footballers here. Professional footballers. Everybody who mean Biafra nation seriously is working seriously from his or her own angle to facilitate the speed of Biafra restoration. Let us look at what we have. Appreciate what we have. God will add for us. When you, you appreciate what God has done for you, it will motivate him to do more. Huh? Your gratitude determines your attitude. How far, how excited you are to what God has brought you to determines on high level that God will place you in next moment or minute. So I, I'm still on the side of encouraging my people to see reason to be independent. Independence is our goal. 
we don't have cutlass, we don't have machete, we don't have razor, we don't have pin, we don't have gun, we don't have anything. Chukwo Kikabiyama is the only one that fights for us. And somebody will say, how can somebody who doesn't have weapons is fighting for freedom? Yes, it's freedom we are fighting for. We are not fighting to illuminate anybody. We are fighting to separate ourselves from evil entity called Nigeria. That is the only thing we are doing. Uh, watch the children of Israel when they departed from the land of Egypt. How many weapons did they have? Can you tell me the kind of AK-47, AK-49 magazine and the rest of them? How many did they have? Virtually nothing. But they have Chukwoki Kabiyama. They have the Almighty God. Who is with them? We have to recognize the presence of Almighty God and do what is right and get up to fight for our right. Because God has given us a free will to understand that this land was given to us. I'm telling you the truth. Listen to me. If we refuse now to see reason, to get our Biafra land demarcated from Nigeria. In 10 years' time, you see what is going on in Israel and Hamas and Afghanistan and Palestinian, Iran and the rest of them. It's what you begin to see between Biafra and Nigeria. But I hopefully believe that this saga have ended in victory of Biafrans, in favor of Biafrans, because we don't look for trouble. Rather, they brought the problem to our doorsteps. See jubilation everywhere. Huh? Celebration everywhere for Biafran professional footballers. So what are you talking about? What are you actually saying? That we are not qualified. Some people say their friends are not qualified to rule themselves. How many years will we live then and become qualified to rule ourselves? How many years? Tell me how many years you feel that we should be before we can merit to rule ourselves to be on our own. Let us stop deceiving ourselves. God is gracious to us. God is great to us. We are more than able. Joshua and Caleb said they are more than qualified to take the land of Cana out of the hands of the anarchy. All right? And they retrieve that which belonged to them. That's why it's, it's retrieval or restoration. What they are looking for is our land. What they are seeking for is our land, to trap it out of our hands. And you say, I should just close my hand, my eyes and fold my hands and watch the invaders that I don't know where they are coming from. When you talk of invaders, let me interpret it in a criminal aspect of it. Invaders it comprises terrorists, bandits, uh, cannibals, rapists, kidnappers, and etc. These are invaders. But because Nigeria have no law, and the one they make as their constitution have no immunity, it does not cover anybody, it doesn't have a strength. And the law of Nigeria is only meant for those who are righteous. The wicked they can continue. 